Having opened in April 2020, San Francisco's Embarcadero testing site has conducted nearly a half million COVID-19 tests with results available within 36 hours, 99% of the time. But today, cars coming through are few and far between. The Embarcadero high volume testing site was one of the first mass testing sites in the United States open to the general public. But now it's entering its final day of operation, ready to close its doors. And that's a good sign. As a pandemic has changed, as more vaccine has become available and more people have been vaccinated, we definitely see, have seen testing numbers decrease. Um, and we've actually gone from about a 5% positivity rate in January down to a 0.6% positivity rate. So given that, um, we are pivoting our testing efforts to really look at neighborhoods that are most impacted. As of this weekend, of those eligible, 80% of San Franciscans have had their first dose of vaccine and 70% are fully vaccinated. We are the biggest municipality that has this high of a level of vaccination. So yes, it is unparalleled. I do think we've probably achieved that elusive herd immunity. Remember what herd immunity means. It does not mean eradication. It means getting levels so low that those who are non-immune, like children who can't be vaccinated, are protected by the immunity of those around us. That's the standard definition of herd immunity. Gandhi says the willingness of San Franciscans to get vaccinated combined with a tech driven population have fueled the city's success. She also cites strong community outreach efforts to educate specific neighborhoods and provide vaccines on site. And at 80% first dose, we have very low rates of infection. We haven't had a death in the city for over a uh, month. And we also have low hospitalizations. And now the only way to fundamentally know that you're at herd immunity for a virus is to open up and keep on testing and ensure that cases and hospitalizations don't go up. That's being put to the test as the state of California loosens masking and restrictions with a reopening of the economy. While testing has scaled back, the public health department says it cannot let down its guard. We know that there are variants that are occurring throughout the world that are making their way into um, the U.S. Um, and these variants tend to be more infectious in nature and could cause um, more hospitalizations and um, worse disease. So we are carefully monitoring um, all that information to ensure as we reopen that we still have a handle on COVID. But right now everything is looking good. Baba says it's important her department continues to spread the message that in order for businesses to stay open and residents to feel comfortable in crowded places, the best solution is to get vaccinated. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.